to Last Day's Signs and Wonders with Mel Bond. Let's start believing the Word of God. I made a deal with God when I committed my life to God at the age of 17. I said, God, if there's anything in here that you don't want me to believe it, you better get it out of there. I'm going to believe it. Amen. That, uh, yes, I've been accused of being an extremist, and I am. I'm proud of it. Just like Jesus. He extremely believed that God was an almighty God. He extremely believed that God was a God that's more than enough. And I extremely believe the same thing. He's the God that's more than enough. And He is your God. And He's here today. Amen. Mark 9.23, the Bible says, Jesus said this, All things are possible to them that believe. Again, that word believe, it's used, I forget how many times. I know it's at least 60 times, 60 to, in fact, I'm thinking it's 264 times. And I think it's the Greek word is pistio. And it means to imagine. Imagine. 200, yeah, I'm, 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 Maybe I'll just look there because I think I got it written in my Bible. 264 times that word is used in the New Testament. Believe. All things are possible to them. And now, of course, it's in agreement with God's word. It's in agreement with God's word. If we'll just believe God's word. Here's what I want to say. We got Brother Abraham here from... Michigan. Next week we'll have Isaac and Jacob. <laughs> have Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We got a Jacob here? There's Jacob. Oh, it's Jason. We'll change it to Jacob. <laughs> then we, all we need is Isaac. Have we got any takers? Bob, will you be Isaac? Okay. Abraham, here's what I hear the Spirit of God saying. Just as clear as I know that I'm going to heaven, as clear as I know that I'm a child of God, he's saying, Abraham, if you can see it, you can have it. Wow. Man, if you didn't even feel that, your wood is all wet. Man, I mean, the anointing of God just came, and I believe everybody here, if you, you can take that. Now I'm going to show you how it's true. Mark 11:24. And Brother Hagin said that's the foundation of faith. He said that's the golden text of the Bible for faith. Mark eleven twenty three. 23. Whatsoever things you desire when you pray. Now, of course, in agreement with God's word. Whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive it and you shall have it. If you want it, see it first. If you can see it, you can have it. That's our God. That's our God. He's got your back. Amen. I want to say Eric, but I know it's not Eric. Rico. Is that with, with an a E on the? R I, Rico. Okay. I'll get it right one of these days. Real soon. Rico, You've already, here, the Spirit of God has already told me, you've already, when I just preaching this message, there's already some dreams, imagination. You're seeing some things. You're saying, man, I let these things go years ago. And God's telling, this is what he's saying. He says, Rico, you stopped dreaming. You stopped dreaming. You stopped imagining. Bring it up again. 264 times in the New Testament. Do you know that's a major doctrine in the Bible? That's a major doctrine in the Bible. Now, here's what I want to say. You, we're just a small crowd of people here, just for a little while. It won't be long, and the, you ain't going to be able to fill this. I mean, people ain't going to, you're going to have to get here an hour early if you want to see it. Otherwise, you have to sit on the floor until we can buy some more chairs. And so a lot of people, they say, well, you know, there's some things I'd like to have. And there's some single people that are right here this morning, the Spirit of God told me, single people. 
And you would like to have somebody that is God-ordained. You've done it on your own, and it was a mess. And so God says, yeah, the reason it's a mess is because you did it. And he, this is what the Spirit of God is saying. He says, I'm smarter than you. Let me find the person. I know their heart. I know their heart. And he says, if you'll do this, this is the church you can come to, and I'll bring them. And that's scriptural. He says, I'll bring them. You don't go shopping. You'll get the blue light special. And it'll be no good in 30 days. But he says, if I bring the person, I bring the man or the woman, it's ordained of me, and I know their hearts. You don't. They'll fool you for the first 30 days, those out in the world, but, but I know their heart. And see, Matthew 6, 33, he says, Delight, he says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things will be added to you. You don't have to go looking. God will just bring them right to you. They'll bring them to you. You don't have to go looking. God will bring them to you. Amen. Amen. Man, I, I want to just preach that again. I mean, this is good stuff. Amen. Man, and, and D got it started with that wild Indian music. Got everybody out of their seat and dancing. You know, there's power in dancing. There's power in praising God. There's something very supernatural when you just raise your hands. And what you're doing is, I surrender to you, God. There's something supernatural. You know, you take a little child, if it's a stranger, if it's a little child, it's a stranger, and that little child comes up to you, and he says, please, pick me up. Oh, you can't resist that. Well, don't you know your heavenly Father is more sentimental? He's more touched than you are. When you lift your hands up, he says, that's my child. I got to lift him up. I got to lift him up. I got to lift him up. They're raising their hands towards me. Oh, there's power. And there's power in dancing. There's power in shouting. When you shout, the Bible teaches it, it just runs the devils off. Runs them off. And so we're not going to take shouting out of the church. We're not going to take raising the hands out of the church. We're not going to take dancing out of the church. We're bringing it back in full force. Full force. Amen. God's a good God. Amen. Well... You know, years ago, we had more people that came. And there are situations, you know, that has changed things. The devil don't like us. But there was a church, there was a, a, a family that came to our church, and they sat all the way in the back, back in there. And uh, they said they came the first Sunday because some people told them. And they, they used to go to the, the first church of the frozen chosen. And so the people, they heard rumors. They said, you don't want to go to that church. Those people are crazy. They do all kinds of things. They're doing all kinds of things. And they said, even the pastor, he'll get up on the platform, and he's got his Bible in one hand, and he'll jump off the platform. He does a backflip, and while he's doing the backflip, he's still preaching. I wish I could do that. I'd do it right now. I wish I could do that. And so they came to church. And they looked like rabbits, scared rabbits in a cage with wolves all around the cage. Their eyes is like this, and they're just looking around. And, I, and you, you couldn't help but not seeing them. And so they said, then they just kind of was the first to leave, and they come back the next Sunday. And they told me this story. They said, well, we came to see the show. <laughs> That's the reason we came. We come to see the show. And they said, well, we just figured you know, we was busy watching, and we didn't see too much. This must have been their off week. <laughs> so we're going to come back next week. This is what they said. And they said they came the next week, and they started watching and people and feeling the presence of God and hearing the Word of God. And they said, we decided we've never been to church before. Yeah. 
And they, become, they came and became a, a major people in the church. I'll tell you what, God's not offensive. God's not offensive. God is a good God. And um, you'll be blessed. Amen. Well, last night I just started imagining. In fact, last night I seen a hand that was all crippled and just deformed like that. And I, I, I just imagined seeing it just become normal. Uh, and I, I'm just praying that's going to take place this morning. Just gonna t- I hope there's somebody here like that. And I seen somebody else last night. I seen somebody that it, it looked like a lady in her right foot. And it was just like it was either born just kind of crooked like that. And I just started to imagine that thing going straight. I hope there's somebody like that t- today. Is there somebody with a hand like I described? That you, you've got a hand and it's not fully developed. Born that way. Well, somebody go get one. Go get one. Today is the day of salvation. Amen. Is there, is there somebody that has a, a foot that just kind of, it was just, like it, it, it was just like it was not totally straight. It was just born that way, crooked. Is there somebody like that? Somebody over there? We're going to get it today. Go, go get that. Amen. I can't, uh, is the, the, the lady that either has a, was it you that has a twisted foot? You got a twisted foot? She's got a twisted foot and a hand? We're just going to get both of them. <laughs> just going. It's just like your foot is twisted like that? It's is, is, it your, so. is it your right foot? It looked like that was. a brace on my right foot. You have a brace on that? My ankle turns. Right now? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is, come on up here. Let's make a fool out of the devil. How about it? You know, the Bible says one puts a thousand of flight, two puts ten thousand. Now, I know I get all the credit for this, but I don't deserve it. And, and, and so what takes place is that I'm ten times more effective if I can just get one other person that will just believe with me. How many will believe with me? There's more than, so man, we're more than 10 times more. More than 10 times. So you had that brace on your right foot right now? Oh, that's, oh, it's just, I, I think we, can you get up on the platform? I want everybody to see this. Oh, you don't, oh, well, we'll just get right here. I hope everybody can see. Amen. Uh, do you need to sit in a chair to take that off? Okay. Can, yeah. Can, you, 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 yeah. Well, any kind. It don't matter. Oh, she says she can sit right here and do it. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I like making a fool out of the devil. So apparently, the devil said you're gonna have this all your life, huh? Well, we got good news. God is in the house. He's in the house. Melva, you ready to dance? Did I say that right, Melva? See, I can kind of remember her name. It's all I do is put a V on mine. V A. So we must be kindred spirits. You probably got some Indian blood in you. Get that Indian blood and get some black blood. You're just a wild person for Jesus. <laughs> Amen. So you can't walk without that? Okay. 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 And th- how's this one? It's just twisted. It's just twisted. Okay. Well, let's get the twisted one first. We'll get them all. But yeah, I have pain in this one. You have pain in that one? Yeah, because it's all twisted. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I want everybody to see this. I want to see the before and the after. And what's your name? Lisa. Lisa. Now here's something that's so important. And I could teach an hour on it, but I'm not going to. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 18, 
It says, we have the glory of God. The word glory is God's reputation, God's power. And then it tells us how we activate that power in the very next verse. In chapter 4, I think it's verse, or yeah, that was chapter 3, verse 18. In chapter 4, verse 1, it says, while, so we have the power of God, while we look not at those things which are seen, but we look at those things which are not seen. So it's clearly telling us that we have two sets of eyes. If we're looking at something that's not seen, what are we doing? We're using our imagination. And our imagination is our spiritual eye. Jesus appeared to me years ago and he told me how uh, blind people see. They can see out of their spirit. And he, he said, but you, you've got to learn. To, your spiritual eyes are your eternal eyes. They're, the, they're the, the most powerful eyes we've got. So never exalt any knowledge above the knowledge of God. And sometimes when we have a tendency to look, then we exalt that knowledge above the knowledge of God. So I want you to close your eyes. And as I pray, I want you to see in your mind's eye and everybody else with your imagination. Let's see this right foot straighten out. In Jesus' name, we take authority over that demonic spirit that has crippled this lady in her right foot. Leave now. And pain, you can't stay. You leave now in Jesus' name. And now in Jesus' name, we command that right foot to be recreated in Jesus' name. Now, here's what you've got to do. Matthew in chapter 11 and verse 12, the, I think that's where it's at, where it says, The kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. In the Greek, it says to energetically force it. And it says this is the means of a good life. And so... Keep your eyes closed, and now you force it to the best of your ability, and in your mind's eye, see it go straight. See it go straight. See it go straight. Can you see it straightening out? In your imagination, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you feel it going out? Amen. Okay, let's let, just totally straight. Make it totally straight in Jesus' name. Straighten it the way that it's supposed to be. All, everything in Jesus' name. There you go. There you go. In Jesus' name, there it goes. There it is, in Jesus' name. Now, let's do it on the, the left foot. How much relief do you have? You said you had pain. I felt it. I felt it move. Okay, you felt it move? And how much relief do you have? You said you had pain. How much freedom? Well, I only have pain when I walk. Really. Okay, okay. Okay, so now on this left foot, in Jesus' name, we take authority over that demonic spirit that tries to keep it deformed we command it to straighten out now in jesus name in the name of jesus we thank you father thank you dear god in jesus wonderful name thank you father in jesus name amen now you you said you had in your spine also well i was born with spina bifida and rheumatoid arthritis and so that i don't understand that that's oh uh, spina bifida I, I'm, I'm not it's, it's the deal with your spine and your back. Okay. Do you have pain there? And sometimes, yeah. And Th does the it doctor showed my mother I would never walk. But so what does that, what does that do for your, it keeps you from walking good? Yeah, it does. Keep okay. In Jesus' name, everybody pray with me. We take authority with that condition in her spinal column. Leave now in Jesus' name. We command that spinal column to surrender to the power of God in Jesus' name. Now t tell me your name again. Lisa, did you say you had a hand that wasn't right? Okay, okay. In Jesus' name, we take authority over this deformity in her hands. Leave in Jesus' name, and we command it now to be recreated with perfection. There you go. There you go. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Totally perfect in Jesus' name. Totally perfect. Now, this hand, was it okay? This one was okay? But this one. Look how straight it is now. Amen. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to get up and take off running to the best of your ability, okay? Now, Dan's going to be right here, so, and, and you force your legs straight. Force them while you're walking. Force them. Force them straight. In Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Yay, God, I'm going to cut it. El Shaddai is in the house. The God who is more than enough. In Jesus' name, he's here. He's here in Jesus' name.
Amen. Amen. How much better would you say they are? That's great. Feels good. Feels good? That's good. How, when's the last time it felt that good? Uh, it's been a while. Been a while. <laughs> yeah. What's your name again? Tell me. Lisa. 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 Yeah. I knew that. I just want to see if you yeah. remember. <laughs> okay, everybody, stretch forth your hand towards Jason. Jason, you just sat there. In Jesus' name, we take authority over that demonic spirit. Leave Jason now. You can't stay. We have authority over you. Leave him now in Jesus' name. And we command that lower back to totally surrender to the miracle-working power of God right now in Jesus' name. Just relax in that lower, right where we're talking, Jason. When you relax, you're surrendering to God's power, okay? Just close your eyes and relax. See, there it is. That warm just a slight warmth is God's healing power. It's his love. Now, Jason, here's what I'd like for you to do, if you don't mind. I don't want to embarrass you, but if, if you don't mind, would you mind just standing up, Jason? W would you mind just standing up? Would that uh, okay, now do something that was difficult for you to do before. And do this, Jason. Always focus. Jesus said, seek and you'll find. And then he said, actions with Faith without actions is dead, so we have to act like the Bible's true because it is true. So I want you to do two things. I want you to focus on how much better you are, and then I want you to do things that was difficult or maybe that you couldn't do before to the best of your ability. Could you do that right now? Okay, do it. What was difficult? Was it difficult for you to touch your toes? How much better is that? Move like that. How much better are you, Jason? I'm deaf, so I'm good. good? I'm deaf, so I'm okay. Deaf. Oh, deaf. deaf. Uh, oh, so you don't hear good. Yeah, I don't hear. I put my thing up, so I can you hear me? I can hear you talking, but you want to hear good? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, well, come up here. Come up here, Jason. Oh, I didn't know that. Both ears? Yeah, but just I actually have both ears, both ears, and put the two on the side. So you I've been deaf since I was born. You were born deaf. Yes. And you so you just hear a little bit. I can hear you talking. Yes. With the, this hearing aid. Mm -hmm. Take the hearing aid out. You don't hear. Well, it's the downward. I don't hear nothing. So. Oh, this is gonna be fun. You ready? Okay, you just watch me. You keep your eyes open because in this situation, you need to watch. Everybody stretch forth your hand towards you. In Jesus' name, we take authority over a deaf spirit. You can't stay in Jason's body and his ears. We command you to leave in Jesus' name. You have no rights. And in Jesus' name, we command those inner ears, especially right now, that on the right ear, we command that eardrum to be recreated and all the mechanisms that needs to be recreated in his right ear, we command it to be recreated right now in Jesus' name. Jason, focus on relaxing in your inner ear, in the right one. Now, do it on the left ear. In G oh, I see that spirit. It's just like he's, like he's got a, a cork, is what it looks like. And I command, it's a demon spirit. I command you to leave. And I command his, his left ear to open up to be influenced by the Spirit of God in Jesus' name. Now, Jason, relax in that left ear. Relaxing is surrendering to God's power in Jesus' name. Okay, now, Jason, take the hearing aid out. Take it out. Dan, you just say something. You, now he, you look at me. Okay, you repeat what he says. No, 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 don't, don't, no, no cheating. Okay. Are you here? No, I cannot. In Jesus' name, thank you for your miracle working power going into Jason's ears. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Again, 
every other song. What do you hear? No, I cannot. You don't hear nothing? Yeah. Now I cannot hear all the songs. Okay. Say something. Here, come up here, Jason. Come up here. Now, I don't want you to look at anybody. You just look at me, okay? Yeah. You just, you're reading my lips, right? Yeah. I can to see you, but I just, I just hear you talking. You don't hear nothing. No, I hear. Everybody stand up. Don't, don't, don't. You, you keep looking. Yeah. I want everybody to, because we want to work where he's at. I want everybody... When I raise my hand, you say Jesus real loud. Okay, now, when you hear, no, okay, when you hear something, you raise your hand, okay? No, wait till you hear, when you hear, okay? And then when you, with your imagination, you raise your hand when you hear it, okay? Okay, so when I raise my hand like that, then that's when you, no, you look at me. What'd you hear? Jesus. Amen. Amen. God is a good God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Keep on believing God. God bless you. Jason. I've got a special offer for you that'll be a tremendous enhancement to your life, I promise you. And uh, it's offer number 80, and it's for $35. And what you're going to get, you'll get my book, uh, why Jesus appears to people today and then you're going to get this DVD and um, the title of it is Jesus wants to appear to you and so you can get this by calling the church the numbers on the screen or go to melbon.com and go to the bookstore section and you can get that offer that way and thank you for watching last day signs and wonders with Mel Bond for more teaching and information, check out our website at melbond.tv or write us at Agape Church, P.O. Box 306, Wentzville, Missouri, 63385 or call our office at 636-327-5632. Keep up to date by friending us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Last Day Signs and Wonders is made possible by the generous gifts of our partners. Please consider becoming a partner and help Mel Bond take this message of Last Day Signs and Wonders around the world.